They're traumatized. She says someone broke into her house, stole expensive electronics, and even left human waste behind. It's just one in a string of crimes around the area of University Hills Boulevard and East Lauren Land Road. Here's Damon Fernandez. Anything? I just walked up to my door like I normally do. Unlocked it and came in and all my stuff, my TV was gone, my computer was gone, my back door was wide open. This woman agreed to talk to us but says she's too concerned for her family's safety to show her face. They took my baby's TV, um, came in here to check my son's room, everything's gone. I came in my room and checked my room and everything is gone as well. The single mother of two says she arrived at her home on Silvery Moon Drive in Singing Hills on Tuesday to find the place ransacked. Burglars took nearly all the electronics. I had two Samsung TVs, a Vizio, Roku box. The thieves even stole some of the family's clothing before using and smearing human waste in their bathroom. How emotional has this been for you and your family? It's been very traumatizing, very emotional. I'm stressed. This burglary is among a handful of similar property crimes reported to Dallas police from different homes on the same street over the past month. Court records show over the weekend, officers arrested this man, Yancey Gibson, while investigating an attempted burglary at another nearby home where he was allegedly caught on surveillance video. Police say the man's charged with retaliation right now for threatening to kill an officer. My kids, they don't even want to stay here. The mom says after the crime at her home, the same man was spotted wearing her stolen shoes and her son's hat. So far, no one's been charged in the burglaries. We feel like our lives are in danger. We can't sleep. We can't function normally. Right now, police say the burglary investigations are ongoing. This crime victim's urging her neighbors to be vigilant and stay alert. So that we can all come together as one and try to stop the crime. Damon Fernandez, Channel 8 News.